Welcome to the shed. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a motor, balance a prop, and hopefully get the vibrations out of the helicopter. What we'll be using today is a 12mm open end ring spanner just to take the prop nuts off and put them back on again. A 2.5mm hexagonal driver, some thread locker very important and we'll need some battery power as well later on after we replace the motor we'll uh, balance the propeller and put it on that bad boy and get him very fine tuned Three guys, little motors, and two, 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 one, threes from Milky Star, Trinity Company. Cheap little motors. The problem is, the bearings don't last very long. Replacement. I won't use the propellers. They're just cheap as two. I use the uh, the carbon fibre instead. All properly balanced. I'll show you that later on in the video. Side. Some screws and connections in there. Which one it was? Which one? That's the oscillator, obviously. And when you plug the wires back in, there's a 50 50 chance that you'll have the motor spinning the wrong way. Even though there's three wires, it's still only 50 50 chance because if you swap over two wires, then that means the motor will run the other way. Now these screws, I'll just put the others back in there too. I'll uh, put some thread locker on them so I don't forget to take them out later on and do it. Just do work. I'll just put them through so they reach to the other side. Then I'll put so just half a drop that's on there. That'll lock them in place once they've done it. As you can see, it's a bit glue burned. It's worn off, I use it fairly often. There, and he just needs to touch on that. Alright. And then we'll do the nut. And there's two uh, measurements of holes on those motors. There's 16mm going across one axis and 19mm going across another axis. That's just in case you want to put different size motors on. You can do that, but with these ones they'll handle both screws. Don't tighten one up to begin with. Just gradually do them all up so they do up evenly. Anti-clockwise. That's because this one will be the same as this one. And you can see that the rotor goes that way. 
So I need to make sure that this one does the same. And get it running. Oh, maybe not. No, that's, that's good. Now at the speed I had it, you uh, could confuse it for going the wrong way unless you touch it. I can't find that speed again. Almost. Not sure if that's getting it right, but because of the, the hertz of the light. Uh, it looked like it was spinning the other way until I touched it. Alright, so that's fine. Turn the controller off and unplug the battery. I'll go to uh, have a balance the propeller later on. But for now, I'll just test to see if we have any improvement from before. Get the numbers, but it was right at the top of the screen on my vibration app. Now just about to test for vibrations and see if it was or well, is better than before. I've got a double sided tape on my phone. Now because the throttle on my receiver is only going to one motor, I don't have to fear these ones spinning. If I'm testing through the flight controller itself, I'll take all the props off, except probably one that I'm measuring. But this should be okay. Let's see if I lose my arm or not. And I'll throttle up. Let's watch the magic. And already it looks better. Much better. Once I don't hit the prop, but last time the vibrations were coming right up and down on a couple of the axes. So it looks like we might have success. bit of vibration there. I think mean, that's just there's so much wind. That's at about two thirds, three quarters throttle. Full throttle. Turn it down before it closes the throttle on it. About there is where it would normally be running. Looking much better. Turn the transmitter off. That right, way the prop's not going to spin up. Now what's left to do? We're going to balance a propeller. Show you how that's done what I've done to this one previously and then we'll have a fly and see if it's improved I bloody hope it has now what I'm going to do is I'll just plug back in my servo wires from the motors and the throttle to the receiver that's the to the uh, flight controller just so I don't forget later on and go to fly and give it throttle and it'll just flip over because only that one motor would be going welcome back to the shed I've just picked out a random plastic propeller until it hasn't been balanced before because there's no sandpaper marks on him it's all nice and clean and we'll see how we go Well, 
Ну, Good. And that's how you balance a propeller. 